Now, standard nine. Today, I am going to have a revision of the daffodils. Once again, I shall be explaining. Listen very carefully. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high over waves and hills. So here, the poet is explaining that he was wandering. He was walking aimlessly. And that he compares it to the movement of the clouds that float over high valleys and hills. So it is a simile. Okay. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Now while he was, maybe he was in a pencil or a sad mood, he was lonely, maybe pondering over something, okay, maybe some sad thoughts were playing in his mind. So, as he was walking, suddenly, all of a sudden, he says he saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Suddenly he saw a huge bunch, a huge thing of yellow flowers. So to give it an additional punch, he uses the adjective golden. Now where were these flowers found? They were found beside the lake, beneath the trees. Okay, where did he locate them or where did he see them? These flowers, these golden daffodils were found beside a lake. That means you have to imagine there's a vast garden, a big huge garden of flowers and at the side of the garden there is a lake and beneath the trees. Fluttering and dancing in the breeze. That means you have to understand that a strong wind was also blowing. So that, that is the picture. You have to imagine a man walking aimlessly. They are in the background, there are some mountains or hills. Above that there is some clouds and at the side of them there is a huge vast area of flowers, a lake and some trees. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way. Now when he looked at the flowers, he had compared the number of them to the number of stars found in the Milky Way. Okay. And twinkled. Now remember, when we were small, we learned the poetry, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay, so here the poet says, because the water, they were also sparkling. And he compared the vast area of the flowers to the stars in the sky. They stretched in never ending line. Means they stretch to a huge distance, a far off distance, along the margin of a bay. Now, what is a bay? It is the opening of a mouth towards the sea or ocean. Now, when you look at your map, you will find the Bay of Bengal, then the Mexican Bay, the Hudson Bay. There you will find the land opening its mouth towards the sea. So they also stretched in a never-ending line. Ten thousand saw I at a glance. How many flowers did you see? So around ten thousand, it does not mean it is a specific number. He just assumed it is more than ten thousand. Tossing their heads in sprightly dance. Because the wind was blowing, so the flowers were tossing their heads as if they were dancing. Here he has personified the daffodils. Now he has compared the daffodils to dancers. And what is the personification? When a non-living object 
or an abstract idea when they are given human characteristics or human behavior they are called personification so the waves recite and dance even the waters in the lake they also have a kind of a formation so they also dance because the waves move only with the help of the breeze 